हेलो फ्रेंड्स आर यू प्लानिंग फॉर गिविंग जावा इंटरव्यूज एंड स्ट्रगलिंग इन गेटिंग एनफ इंटरव्यू कॉल्स और मे बी यू डू नॉट इवन रियलाइज बट बिहाइंड द सीन्स कंपनीज आर रिजेक्टिंग योर रेज्यूमेज एंड यू इवन डोंट नो देन दिस वीडियो इज फॉर यू बाय द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो यू विल नो हाउ टू स्ट्रक्चर योर रेज्यूमे टू गेट मोर इंटरव्यू कॉल्स नो वॉच दिस I have just uploaded my Java resume into ChatGPT and I am asking it to analyze the ATS score of my resume. Now I will check. First of all what is ATS? ATS stands for Applicant Tracking System tool. Listen, most recruiters and companies do not is open thousands of resumes manually and check them they use the ats software to scan thousands of resumes and based on the best ats score they shortlist only few resume okay now let's check the ats score of this and coming down here is the whole analysis done by the chat gpt for my resume formatting work experience all the sections it is checking and finally it is showing the ats score of 98 out of 100 oh sorry yeah 98 out of 100 which is very good right now i will show you step by step how i created the resume so that you can also create it, create the same for you and yes the last step in the resume creation is the most important that is the skills okay plus in the end i will also share five mistakes which many candidates do with their resume and yes if you want the ready made ats friendly java resume templates then wait for the end now let's get started let me open a blank word file here i will create the same resume for you first thing is the resume header here if you will include your name your job title your basically this is the heading of your resume then your phone number your email id and your location okay these are the mandatory details remember a good and short headline of your resume can attract the recruiters or consultants or companies and they can immediately shortlist your resume just they will open it they will see it's relevant and that is like the first impression okay then mention your experience here but i have mentioned 0 to 8 because in this resume i will put some projects which are relevant for less experienced or fresher candidates and some projects which are relevant for more experienced candidates so that all experience levels are covered i will show you that in a minute okay now here always write some city name not the complete address because sometimes companies only shortlist candidates from the same city where the company is present okay so that's why keep the name of some popular it city it will see small small thing will increase your chances of shortlisting okay so after this you have some optional details which you can also put for example your photo if you are very handsome or beautiful i prefer not but that's up to you or it's optional then you can put your linkedin id and your github link if there is so these are optional now this was the first section after this the next section is the experience summary okay here first you have to like write the short introduction about your experience whether you are fresher 2 3 months of experience in some project or you are a senior experience guy whatever you are you have to write in just one line okay very short and to the point then you can add more points like this basically these all are like your 
some specific achievements getting my point so for example you have implemented microservices that's a good thing you have Im improved the performance of application you have implemented cloud deployment that's great you have worked in some domains like e-commerce banking insurance so basically the specific achievements not the details for example don't try to bug fixing or support projects or uh, worked on some the java project no just some uh, specific achievements okay now after this you have to write your work experience and that is your next uh, section okay now here in the work experience but before that there is one thing see interviews are like buses okay so if you are not giving them you make a beautiful resume you know java spring aws whatever but if you are waiting then it's not good because you are missing those buses okay so you are missing those opportunities uh, the companies will not wait for you so just upload your resume even do not wait to learn something for example if you think that i will learn spring or aws then i will post resume no it's like remember your school colleges when the exam is scheduled then we do our best learning same thing applicable here when the interview will be scheduled then you will do your best best learning and if you are rejected then it's fine you if you will not give the interview that's also the same rejection only you don't feel it okay so now in the work experience okay so here first you have to mention your latest project latest here job your job title your company name your duration and then your location of the company then you have to write your roles and responsibility in project details like this but remember here focus on project achievements okay for example instead of saying uh, you worked on a java project write something like this design and implemented scalable microservices architecture using spring boot kafka high availability system impressive right try to write something which is deep technical and which uh, including your important skills okay that's how you will show that i have the practical knowledge of spring some critical skill aws or spring boot something like this performance improvement okay now okay so this is more about a uh, senior uh, java developer project uh, who, uh, who will talk about the performance improvement and all but if you are a fresher or you have slightly less experience then here i have mentioned a project okay so this is the simple thing you have worked on some java project and you are just i have just written it by showing it in a have done the same thing but writing it in a more efficient way so that it can attract the attention of the interviewer okay all the points are like this it's like simple things written in a better way you can also do the same okay but remember always write what you can explain do not uh, otherwise if interviewer will ask you something and you will not be able to answer from these points then it will be so you you should be able to slightly explain the points whatever you are writing next is the featured projects this is the optional one if you have uh, more experience more real project experience you don't need it but if you have less then you can here write here yourself initiated your freelance any your personal projects which you have created uh, worked in your college days or uh, you can provide the github links so it's like proof of your practical knowledge rather than your you know just education and education you can write the featured projects okay that is optional great so that is about the projects now the next section is about the education so like this you can mention your education if you are a graduate or a post then oh sorry if you are experienced then just mention the your graduation or post grad and if you are a fresher then you can add insert rows here 
and then you can add your 10th and 12th details also after this you have to write the certifications or trainings if you have done any now see do not write too many certification trainings rather put your trainings in the project experience section in the featured project show them as the experience practical experience training is slightly you know uh, educational which is still not so much efficient okay after that at the end you can write your achievements like oh, some open source contribution you have done conference performance optimization you have mentored some candidates you have participated in hackathons whatever so see basically your resume is all about your achievements your achievements in your projects your achievements in education your achievements journal in uh, like these journal ach achievements if anything left you have to write it here getting my point okay okay great now the turn is of the most important thing and uh, important thing of your uh, part of your resume and that is the skills yes skills are the most important part because atm ats system scan resumes based on the relevant skills and keywords only now first thing about skills make sure to put the skills just after the experience summary in the first page of your resume itself because it is very important like this now either you can put just skills a comma b comma c but now the better way is to categorize them see these are the categories of the skills okay these are the categories now inside every category you have to write the skill now the top is your top category so you have to put at it at the top and your top skills your primary core skills like java spring mvc boot hibernate whatever that should be at the first line of your skills okay after that you can fill the categories like this now wait do not be so terrified by all these skills basically i what i have done is i have written all the related skills of java why because i do not want you to think uh, and you do not have to add some new skill here you already have every skill here what you have to do just you have to delete the skills which you don't know okay so basically i am making your work simpler and easy and you will also know that okay there are so many skills and you will not miss any skill if it is already written here right okay now again do not leave any skill or do not write any skill which you can't explain to the interviewer because again if interviewer will ask you question you should have some idea about that skill right and yes if you have not yet accepted my never give up challenge then do accept it keep giving the interviews until you get the success like these candidates and the day you get success share your success story with me write never give up in comments to accept the challenge all right so that is the structure of your resume now at the end there are some don'ts which mistakes which you have to avoid in your resume first create don't create a resume more than two pages long nobody is going to read your three to five pages of resume if it is two pages at least interview will try to read it okay if you have many projects then only explain your latest project in detail and rest of the projects just line two two lines three three lines okay second point do not write long paragraphs write in bullet points okay third point do not include personal information like your age your marital status your sex full home address nationality etc no need then fourth point do not use too many colors okay your resume should look uh, professional okay for example here i have used only two color light blue and light black so that it should i can read it simply just by looking at it it should not affect my eyes otherwise thousands of resumes you know uh, the risk is very high 
okay and the fifth point is knowledge doesn't matter okay courage for posting your resume immediately and start giving interviews immediately matter so as i said earlier now you know how to structure a great java resume now you can create one for yourself and uh, yes if you do not want to waste your time in this kind of formatting or uh, coloring or writing the bullet points better you should study more rather than so i have the ready made resume templates for different experience levels one is for the fresher for 0 to 1 years of experience with project details are bit simple then second resume is for template is for 1 to 4 years experience where focus is more on improving the performance of the application and third resume is for senior candidate where the project details will be like leading and designing the projects okay so if you do not want to miss the big opportunities and jobs just because of some small mistakes in your resume then link is in, given in the description and get the professionally ats friendly crafted java resume as per your own experience okay remember a strong resume can get you more interview calls meaning more opportunities see i know i know you will be selected soon in some company today or tomorrow but i want you to be selected in the best possible company with the best best package and your resume can help you in that by getting you more interview calls right and yes there is a full boot camp course where i have explained all the question and answers in java resume template mock everything everything complete boot camp if you are interested the link is in the description otherwise no problem finally all the best from my side for your career and your interviews